in this season of thy kingdom come, a time we were called to pray for five individuals to come to faith who are on our hearts. We continue our Novena series looking at nine lessons in First Peter. The material is produced by Justin Welby, Archbishop of Canterbury. Lord, we have been called to make disciples of all nations. This season between Ascension Day and Pentecost, we are called to pray for those that we yearn to see come to faith in you. We pray for the gift that you have promised us, your Holy Spirit. Place on our hearts five names and help us to pray without ceasing for those individuals to find your perfect peace. Send your spirit to us, O Lord, we pray. Amen. First Peter chapter 4, verse 6 For this is the reason the gospel was preached, even to those who are now dead, so that they might be judged according to human standards in regard to the body, but live according to God in regard to the spirit. Sometimes we make happen the very things we want to avoid. One thing we often fear and yet create for ourselves is separation. We feel distant from those who are different to us, those who consider we consider other. We feel separated from those who have gone before. Sometimes we feel separated from God. Some people think we are beyond reach. Sometimes we feel beyond reach ourselves, consumed by darkness, loneliness and fear. What a profound message then for us in this passage. Jesus descends into the darkness, into the places we fear most, to bring us out of death and into life. Those who are consumed by darkness hear the good news and are brought into the glorious light of God. Those who are dead are made to live new lives, which witness the, to the miracles of God. Many people may be physically alive, but they're not truly living. There are those who live submerged by circumstances, situations and anxieties. The Gospel gives people new life. God turns dead ends into turning points. Rejection into acceptance death into new life. It says that no one is beyond redemption. There is no sin God doesn't forgive when repentance is true. Those whom we give up on, whom we consider past hope, God never st stops searching for. When they are found, God celebrates. Rejoice with me, I have found my lost sheep, it says in Luke chapter 15 verse 6. The generosity of God overflows with such power that even death is swept away. Whilst we do not fully understand the mechanisms of salvation, we are encountered by the one who gives life to the dead. When people turn away, God welcomes. Where we are tempted to judge, God calls us to love. When flesh inevitably dies, spirit lives. It's a call to live according to God's standards, rather than wither according to our own. Pray for your five friends today. The spirit of the one who crosses every boundary to bring the message of his love might just reach them today. As we pray for our five today, remember this. No one is beyond the presence and promise of God.